Yeah. Okay. So we're back. Uh, we've been looking at a bunch of our favorite picks, but uh, you know, one of the things that we always look forward to in our finale episode is to get a chance to talk with Scott Cravens from Cygnus and from EMS World. And uh, Scott, you know, you put on a great show. There were, you know, in, for an emergency show, you had your challenges, but we <laughs> rose to them like we do in our in our industry. Uh, yeah. it, it didn't go it didn't go perfectly, but it was still a great show. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. It, we knew coming in here, obviously, uh, coming into the weekend, when every model showed Sandy hitting the Northeast, that, that this would be challenged. Um, and that did happen. We, we, we took a look at the attendance. We, we had an idea of how many people weren't going to make it based on the, the states uh, in the Northeast. And, um, and so we, were, we, were, we understood that. And, and certainly the, the exhibitors understood that as well, uh, many of which are, you know, do the same thing as we do. And, um, but what I didn't anticipate, or what I didn't model, is that states like uh, Illinois and Indiana would be impacted as well. I mean, they couldn't get out of Chicago, and, wow. and, uh, and we had people, rather than getting in on Tuesday, came in on Wednesday, and, and got in late, and so, um, yeah, it was unfortunate, but... We control what we can control, and, and um, certainly the people we've talked to, I just, uh, one of your previous guests on here was commenting about how many people came by. So, Good. Good. And, and, and we have heard, heard that. Um, certainly it's been very positive in, from the classes, the faculty. Um, they've made it there. Um, they, some of them may not have made the eight o'clock after Halloween. <laughs> um, but, not many. Uh, I'll tell you for a fact, not many people made it, <laughs> including a podcast. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. I, you still got some makeup. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you know, Scott, I got to tell you, a great show this year. Um, but never been to New Orleans, so great opportunity to come, mm -hmm. and. You guys have put on just a, cl a class A show. I mean, it, everything yeah. about it is just great. The from the way you set up the show floor all the way through the classes, and just seeing the the level of expertise that you bring to the instructors, and then kind of you branching out and getting some new people too. I mean, I think that that there's something to be said for all of that, and I think it's a good mix. And it, it is very important. We we try and have at least a third new instructors each year. Wow which is, uh, is, is difficult because you get somebody to come in, they want to come back, we want to have them back, but we recognize that it's important to keep bringing in new blood. We want to be the place, um, whether it's in print, online, or, or at Expo, that continues to introduce new faces because the old faces had to start somewhere as well, and, and so we want to be the place that that can take place. Um, and I know when you said uh, you used you and expertise in the same word, and, and uh, it certainly isn't my expertise. Uh, I knew you meant it as, as you Your all, team. but, but team, yes, right. yeah, and, and, and definitely, because I want to just um, highlight them, Nancy Perry, who does such a good job really coordinating all of the the content all the of the faculty and and this year is was certainly a a, a record for her in number of faculty wow. that couldn't come in and then we had to scramble to get people to fill those spots thankfully um, we get a lot of instructors past instructors coming to the show regardless uh, like I said they're because we're rotating in new blood, and and thankfully a lot of people said, "Heard you're having problems. Can I help?" And we plugged them in. I think we had like two cancellations of classes. Oh wow! With with minimal uh, disruption that way. And I also just want to say thank you to to Ken Bouvier, uh, New oh, Orleans yeah. EMS. Yep. How about that opening? <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was great. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was really good. Uh, I don't think uh, you know, with all the shows we go to and see the um, the uh, bagpipes and so on, to to have a jazz band uh, opening it up. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they had a lot of energy. <laughs> oh, no, it, like, it just kept going and going. Everybody's like, oh, they're just getting warmed up. I'm like, no, they're at the end. They're like, no, no, this will go on a while. We're like, okay, it yeah. was. 
amazing. Absolutely great. Yeah, were you guys on when they were marching oh, through the hall? We, a little learned bit. The, we learned the lesson, and every year we learned something, and I think this year we finally realized, you know, we're always seem to be near the opening parade in some way, shape, or form, bagpipes or jazz band. We yeah. probably need to skip that first hour <laughs> of the exhibit hall being open and do our first show, hour two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because yeah. it, there was a jazz band playing literally right over there yeah. while we were doing our, uh, doing our show. But, but I have to say, Scott, you know, even though you had the challenges with the educational sessions, we talked to the, a, lot of, a lot of people on our shows, and consistently the recurring theme was the way that the classes that you were offering have, has raised the bar and professionalism for our industry. So even with those challenges, the response we were hearing from the people we talked to here on our shows and just here at our booth was that uh, they were very they were very pleased with the type of classes being offered and the word professionalism kept coming up. So I think you're right on target. Good. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. And, and again, thanks thanks to the team and and they they pull it off and and I too I haven't heard uh, usually there's a complaint about the temperature in the room or or the. Uh, the signage or, or the video screens and, and like I say I don't want to toot my own horn and, and it's it's to the team and, and the faculty of professionals and I include you guys and your team as, as part of that that uh, just pulled it off and um, very proud of them and, and, and glad it worked out and 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 also the other I failed to mention the other Louisiana associations that came in and provided right. volunteers um, it's so much nicer to have, you know, room monitors that are also, uh, um, in some cases, the, the EMTs, and, and to have them there helping move people around. It, it just, a lot of support. A lot Very of cool. Support. So. so next year, Vegas, we're going back to Vegas. Back uh, to Vegas. Do you, know the, do you know the dates now? Yes, it's um, September uh, 9th through the 13th. Cool. Excellent. Very cool. Very so, nice. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. It's a little later. Uh, we'll still, um, you know, we'll we'll have some unique things there, just like as in New else. Orleans, <laughs> we want to have unique items that people can count on, and and uh, we'll have more unique items there. And, cool. Uh, well, that's cool. exciting. I, I know, uh, you know, we've been we started talking this morning on, on our shows about looking forward to the next year in EMS, and and there's some exciting things on the horizon. Before you go, is there something, you know, you've got your fingers on the pulse of the industry in a unique way. What do you see 2013 holding for EMS? It's, um, we're, we're excited. And I think you, you guys cover it. Uh, I'm sure the guests have covered it. Um, that we are at a turning point like we haven't had since the white paper. Um, there's opportunities with current legislation um, that's that's making a turn, and and we really need to get um, a grassroots effort going to move towards for us to be engaged with the the dialogue on ACOs and how we can in, and interact in that. Um, what you're doing with the uh, community-based paramedicine, how that model can maybe be applied in other states. And, and learn from the people that are getting that done, Troy Hagen making that happen and the, and the battles he had, and we want to help share that. Um, we're doing a new series that's been, uh, going to run across the magazine, uh, podcasts, um, as well as culminate in an event at, at the show next year uh, entitled EMS 2020. Which cool. Is not just vision, clarity right. of vision. Looking forward to that year, the actual year. Right. And not just looking at what's EMS in the future, but specifically because it takes about seven years uh, for legislation to get passed. So anything that we want to happen near term, we have to be doing now and preparing for that, which is why it's so important to get more people engaged uh, with you guys and your shows and, and in the, the programs. We're going to help try and drive the dialogue and with your with your help that um, let's just raise awareness get on board mm. get into advocacy not at the national at the state and local levels and let's make sure that EMS is at the table and not not miss it again right that's uh, that's so that's so brilliant to hear and I think 
Um, as EMS providers, I've always complained, you know, we want it today, we want it yeah. now, we want it then. But I think what we're seeing now is the, as, as we're getting uh, aged in our, in our careers. Experienced. Well, yeah, okay, that's it, that's it too. I feel like I'm old. But um, I think that we're becoming more patient for that change. Even though we know we, we see it and we're, and we're now able to strategize around it and apply strategy and say, okay, we know at 2020 we want to be here. What's it going to take to get there? Because there's a lot of stuff that we sometimes don't even see that are going to come up. And, and I think that's important. I think you're seeing that right. in a lot of the leadership in most and of the country. Chris, you and I country. talked here, and we're just kind of looking back our first show with you all in Atlanta four years ago. Yeah, yeah. that long. <laughs> and, I, know. I know. And the discussions we were having then about getting people involved and in using social media and really pushing the industry forward and looking, if we think about that, we were anxious to have that change happen faster, but four years isn't really bad for, yeah. for the kind of change we've seen in the industry. And I think that, uh, you know, there, there's gives me hope when I think about it in those terms, when I can give myself that perspective, wow, we've come a long way from that point, and, and we owe a lot of that to you in, yeah. in regards to where we've come from, but we hope to bring our audience along with us in that, in that regard, and we appreciate the opportunities you've offered to us, and, and we've been able to, to provide for you as well, and, and so looking forward to the opportunity to continue to do that. Well, you guys, I mean, really launched us. I mean, you, um, you took a chance on us, you took a risk on us, and we thank you because all of this is because of that one opportunity to go, I was like, yeah, I can get to EMS Expo for free. Cool, let's do it. You know, I'm like, and, and it's turned into something much greater than that. And so, thank you very much. I think well, it's been I, huge. I look forward to then the uh, five-year anniversary. I'd like to see a In montage Vegas? of We're clips. Oh my God! You know, you being all the held outtakes, around the, all the exhibit halls, and, and yeah, that yeah. would be. Uh, well, that's, that's, right. that's, that's what I've got to do. That's yeah. that's true. It is going to be the five-year anniversary. Yeah. So, we of the podcast that. studio. Yeah, we yeah. should do something about that. Concept. Definitely. Good, good, idea, good idea, good idea. <laughs> That's why you're always, you're the guy in charge. <laughs> well, Scott, thank you so much for taking a moment. I know you were so busy at this conference, and so it means a lot to us that you take uh, 10 or 15 minutes to sit down and chat with us. And, and I think it means a lot to our audience because they don't often get to meet people that are, that are behind the scenes, like in the way you are, helping to guide and direct and, 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 and shepherd this industry forward. Well, it's... Thank you. Thank your audience. Um, we're here to serve. I really, truly, when I got into this, I wanted to make a difference, and I wanted to make a difference at, at a big level. And and it's not so. It's not me making the difference. It's really just opening up so others like you and other thought leaders um, and uh, from around the country can. And and you really can. We see. It's the individuals that make make the difference if they're just willing. There's plenty of opportunity right. so so please let me know if there's ways we can improve this or any of the things we do we only want to we want to serve so Very cool. um, yeah and, and check out the iPad version of EMS World magazine oh my goodness it's amazing <laughs> if you have an iPad it is like the bomb and we said <laughs> your 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 show floor app is the best I've ever seen yeah it was thank you oh it's thank you really good really good so you don't even need to you don't even need the paper anymore you just What's pull that? it up paper? on your phone yeah I know I, you don't even need you know it's funny I got the paper program with my with my badge and I don't think I used it once yeah, I, I mean, just pulled my phone out and the whole like, all where the do I need to go? were yeah, there right. all the, the right. conference items were there it was amazing and then you had a Twitter stream and photo uploads yeah and everything else. everything to go with it I think is very cool. incredible very cool thanks Scott thank you Thank, Thank you very you much. For what you do. Thank you.